Before I get started, I do consulting on where you can move. I'll work with you to find the perfect place for you to move to. There's more information at the end of the video about that. Now let's get started. Everybody wants to move to North Carolina. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people do. You can't blame people. Words out about the cost of living and nice weather and limited political BS. Folks are coming here from all over the Midwest and the Northeast and as far away as India. And they seem to love it here. But as you know, the cost of living is getting higher everywhere and people's preferences have changed. All of us don't necessarily want to live in big cities like Raleigh and Charlotte. Maybe we want affordable, smaller towns with space. Huh, people? So that's what we're going to do in this video. I use data, word of mouth, and my own personal knowledge in North Carolina to come up with a list of 10 awesome, under the radar places that are affordable that you probably didn't know about. And we're going to get to them in just a minute after this little ditty. But you have to promise to shh, because if people find out about them, they're not going to be under the radar, secret cool places anymore, are they? These are some great places to move. You haven't heard of these before. You could afford to live here now. Just do it. We begin our tour of some secret, out of the way, affordable, safe, and awesome places to live in North Carolina in the city of Morganton. Now this place would be great for somebody who wants a small town life, but also wants to be close enough to fun things to make it doable. It's in Burke County, at the base of the Appalachian Mountains, about an hour's drive from Charlotte. There's a lot of lakes and waterways and hiking all around, so if you want some backyard space and the outdoors, this is it, people! There's about 17,000 people here right now. It's not even growing very fast. Look at that chart. That's because a lot of people don't even know about it. Shh! Uh-oh, they do now. It's affordable here, just like everywhere else we'll talk about, for the most part. A typical home in Morganton is only about $210,000. That means you don't have to work hard to live a nice life. The average family here is just fine with a $42,000 a year household income. That's pretty low, isn't it? You'd be right out in the countryside here, and there's not a lot to do for fun, but that's okay. You'd make friends, right? Look at that downtown again, people. Some people call this place a mini Asheville, but without the bums. Way out in the eastern coast is the city of New Bern. This place is really neat. There's a downtown area here that looks like something you'd see in a Hallmark Christmas movie. It's right along the water too, although there really isn't much of a beach around. It's on the sound at the end of the Noose River, but there's a lot of boat watching. Have a boat? Even better. Have a boat? Even better. Have a boat? Even better. It's pretty nice all over town, although there is one bad pocket of housing projects north of town that sticks out. It's pretty random. Home prices here are about $220,000. That's cheap. Now you'd be out in the middle of nowhere out this way. For fun, it would be a lot of driving down to the beach communities of Moorhead City, Atlantic Beach, and Emerald Isle, which are neat little coastal towns. There's about 30,000 people here in New Bern, and it's not getting any more crowded at all right now. And it's pretty conservative. That's a great thing, right? It's just a great place to raise a family. There's some jobs here, but most are in education, tourism, and healthcare. Now, this place isn't going to stay under the radar for too much longer. This is Fuquay Barina, or just Fuquay, as the locals call it. It's considered a Raleigh suburb since it's about a 30 minute drive into downtown. But it's on the south side of Raleigh, where the traffic is very limited. This place used to be pretty rough, but it's completely transformed itself today. The town of Fuquay has 27,000 people, and folks are moving here all the time. Of the cities we've talked about so far, this one's growing the fastest. There's a cool little main street downtown, and lots of new homes popping up everywhere. You're surrounded by pine trees all over the place, and the schools are really nice. Homes here are kind of expensive, though. $425,000 is a pretty penny, but it's still going to be lower than a lot of big cities. And it's still cheaper than Cary or Holly Springs, which are getting too crowded. Fuquay would be a great place for a family who wanted some space, but easy access in a Raleigh. To live here, mom and dad would both have to make about 40 k a year. That's not bad, right? Fuquay Verena. Not too small, but enough fun for everyone. And no, they didn't pay me to say that. I wish they did. 
This is the last biggish town that's kind of on the above average side of things, but I had to get Wake Forest into here. This is not where Wake Forest University is. It used to be here, but it moved. Wake Forest is also a Raleigh suburb. It's about a 20 or 25 minute drive in a Raleigh from the north side, which again has less traffic than the west side of town. There's 42,000 people here and it's going up fast, but not too fast. But all that new development means lots of new homes and places to shop and things to do. And downtown Wake Forest is just a gem. It's super cool and safe and you get to know a lot of people if you moved here. Wake Forest. Hickory. We're back to the western side of the state again. It's actually just a short drive from Morganton, a little bit closer to Charlotte. There's 40,000 people here. And again, the population is just stuck here. That's good for you people. You could be in Charlotte if you really wanted to, but it's far enough away that you don't get that Charlotte crowd. Homes just like this one are about $252,959, and that's a steal for small city kind of country living. You're surrounded by mountains and lakes and rivers and golf courses. There's even a duck and good food place Hmong here. Yes, I love me some duck and good food place Hmong, don't you? To live here, mommy and daddy would have to make about $28,000 each. That's like Starbucks wages. Nothing against Starbucks wages, I'm just saying. Downtown Hickory's neat, and there's little cool places to hang out and chill with your friends and neighbors. Don't sleep on Hickory, people. Now, I'm not a fan of Winston-Salem, but it's a way more dynamic place in Greensboro. Kernersville is a little town just outside of Winston-Salem where it's pretty much below average crime and below average prices. For a home, it'd run you about 280 k For all ye who live in most of the country, that price sure does sound desirable, huh? This is a great place for families, but the teens might get a little bored, so expect a lot of staring at phones if you move your kids here. Or, alternatively, they could go outside and get dirty, but how many kids do you know that do that anymore? Not many. It feels very much like a small town in Kernersville, where you get to know people pretty quickly. People. Up to the mountains we go! Now, most of North Carolina's mountain towns are too small to be a realistic place for people to move to, unless you're tired and or have some big bucks. There's some neat places up here that do make sense though. Boone is one of them. It's a college town, so there's plenty of things to do for entertainment. That is if frolicking around on ski hills and in waterfalls isn't good enough for you. This town only has 19 full-time residents, but when college is in town, the place nearly doubles in size. You might expect to pay about 430 k for a house. I know that's kind of ouch, so it's not nearly as inexpensive as some of the other places we've talked about, but it doesn't get any more beautiful. You get all four seasons and plenty of snow, and it's really sunny up here most of the year, too. Back out to the central part of the state again. This is Little Elon, population 12,000 and growing fast. It's in Alamance County, just outside of Greensboro. Up here, it feels very southern and has a country living vibe. But there's also a small university here, so there's some vibrancy in the air, too. In fact, Princeton Review once called Elon the most beautiful college campus in the country. That's saying a lot. I mean, look at the place. It's super safe here. Only one other city has less crime per capita in the whole state. You could get by on a 50K a year entire household income since the average home here sells for only about 250K. And a lot of people say Elon's very family friendly and has a tight knit community. There's a little downtown area where you could hang out, but if you're bored, you'd likely have to drive to Durham for some entertainment. Just stay away from Duke's campus. That area is rough. Southern Pines is a gem of a place that you probably haven't heard of before. It's way out in the middle of nowhere in Moore County. This whole area down here is very fancy and upscale. There's golf courses all over the place and neat little downtown areas with shopping and dining. It's the kind of place where the community gathers for weekly events downtown and gossips about one another. Nearby is Pinehurst, which is home to one of the nicest PGA golf courses in the country. Good for you, Pinehurst. It's reasonably affordable for what you can get. The average home here is about 420 k but there's some that are way more expensive than that. However, people here make it happen. The average household income here is only $58,000. That's doable, isn't it? Pinehurst is centrally located from both the North Carolina mountains and the ocean. There's super schools here, but there's also a lot of retirees here as well. Talk about safe. You could definitely let the kiddos off the leash and not have to worry that they'd make it home. But there's a downside, you'd be pretty isolated out there. 
while you might not really want to leave your little heavenly spot, for a change of pace, the next nearest big place to visit would be Fayetteville. While downtown Fayetteville is somewhat pleasant, there's lots of parts of that town that are pretty rough and tumble. Yuck. I've saved the best for last. We're in Hendersonville, perhaps the best all-around, under-the-radar place you could live in this whole state. There's only 14,000 people here, but the downtown area is surprisingly dynamic. The main area downtown has neat little places to grab a drink or go out to dinner or shop. And talk about room to grow. You're way out in the countryside, surrounded by trees and mountains. It's totally safe and the schools are above average. Homes are in that middle area. You'd possibly pay close to 370 k for a house here. There's all kinds of cool little towns just outside of town too. So you could live in a suburb of a suburb if you wanted. Now, jobs might be an issue. It's a very small place with limited opportunities, so if you don't work from home or work in healthcare or in government or education, things might be more challenging. But if you can pull it off, it's Southern living at its finest, pal. Okay, so that's a rundown of affordable-ish, under the radar places in North Carolina where you can move. In these places, you don't have to worry about traffic and crime and bums and burnouts. In some of these places, you're close enough to a big city. So you don't have to worry about a job. In others, you're gonna to have to have a specific job to be able to live there. But hopefully, it opens your mind up about considering some new places to move to. You can do it, but we have to remember to shh and not tell anybody, right? These are some great places to move. You haven't heard of these before. You could afford to live here now. Are you looking to move and need advice? I do consulting. That's right. I'll sit down and talk about where the next perfect place for you and your family should be. I do it all the time. Together, let's find you a new home that's safe and checks all your boxes. You can get my email in the description to find out how I can help you find your perfect relocation. And I can also help you find your new house too. Email me and I'll work with you on not just helping you figure out where to move, but I can help you find your perfect home too. That's right. I know awesome, reliable agents all over the country, and I'd love to connect you to somebody who can help you search for that perfect home. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great. You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. You can also now buy my songs on iTunes and other formats. Click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. And remember, while we all might have different views, we should all be nice to each other and try to make the U.S. a better place in a positive way. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production.